Hello everybody, this is Claude Blanc from Affiliate Starting Line and welcome. Today I'm going to talk about Google Trends, which is an interesting tool that you can use to figure out the buying cycle of a niche, among other things, but that's an important part if you're an affiliate marketer. You can find Google Trends by going to www.google.com forward slash trends. And when you get to the screen here, there are a lot of things you can do. Uh, it shows you the top 10 uh, trendy searches for the day uh, based on volume. Down below there's some new information here regarding some new features that they offer. And um, right here, More Hot Trends is the button I'm going to click. The reason I'm going to do that is not only am I interested in the top 10, I'm interested in the top 100. And in the top 100 you can get a look and see what uh, people are looking for. So there's entertainment, information they're looking for, there is environmental information, sports information, um, environmental again, uh, lifestyle information, restaurant, uh, and, and celebrity entertainment, I mean a little bit of everything. The one I'm interested in here would be the Tour de France. Let's take that as an example. That's a, a cycling race. Um, I'm interested in cycling. If I were wanted to see if there was a niche trend in cycling, I could go up here to this search box and type in cycling and then hit search trends. And what it would give me is this screen here where I have a graph and pieces of information that give me some very interesting insights into cycling. First I see a year to year, 2004, 5, 6, 7, 8 and beginning of, and half of 9 of the buying cycle in cycling. You can see here in January, February, March, first quarter it's, it's low but starts to trend up. The second quarter it trends up a little bit and then the in the third quarter, man does it go up. And uh, it really peaks and it comes right that, back down again but that third quarter is a real key part time period for cycling. And then fourth quarter it trends right back down again and stays low and then repeats itself year to year. So if I was interested in, uh, in cycling and finding an a product to sell to the cycling market, I've kind of missed the boat because the, the peak of the season, the buying season is now and that's going to trend down. So I'd be catching it uh, on the back side. That's not what you want. I could also, uh, down below though, see where the buying is occurring, or where the interest is. And the interest is in New Zealand, Australia, South Africa, and United Kingdom, a lot of English speaking countries, some Europe, US, etc. This gives me a chance uh, a, a chance to see what the geographic uh, distribution of interest is. And here is a, the cities in the different countries where there's interest and then of course the languages. This whole piece of information here, all this data, gives me a good insight as to what I could expect in terms of uh, trending interest in a particular niche. So that's what Google Trends can be very helpful for. And that's where you want to use it as you do your market research looking into a niche. And that's the information for the day. I hope you found this useful. This is Claude Pallon, Affiliate Starting Line. Stay well. Stay with it. I hope, uh, may your travels be prosperous. And have a great day. Talk to you soon.